Height. That's one of my favorite techniques in Jiu Jitsu from the open guard toe hold. Let's do it. Toe hold from open guard. Bap, bap, bap. Watch. So, in open guard, he's got the advantage that he can use his legs to push me and attack me, right? But the disadvantage of it is the direct consequence of it is that his feet are in my close proximity and I can attack them. I can attack his feet, his knees and his balls and whatever I <laughs> feel like. But this time it's gonna be the foot, okay? If you stay friendly, it's gonna stay at the foot. Grab the foot, wrap around and now open and close, okay? I want to push it towards his hip to stop him from rolling and then finish it. There's a couple details to it. It's a simple technique, simple and effective. Grab, okay? It's called toe hold, but do not grab the toes themselves, right? They are slippery and bendy. It's difficult to have a good grip, but bend around the first knuckle. So when I, when I start to um, come with my finger towards the toe, I feel the notch at the end of the long bone of the middle foot or when I'm coming from the toe I'm pop, going over the notch and there it is and the same with the big toe pop, there it is so that's the weak point of the foot it's far away from the ankle and it's the furthest stable point that I can control so I wrap my fingers tightly and I want to compress and bend his foot a bit and then the other fingers wrap around the toes okay yeah it's, it's slightly <laughs> uncomfortable right <laughs> <laughs> okay it's slightly uncomfortable as i said and the other hand comes around the achilles here achilles not around the calf around the achilles around the ankle and drop in see i'm rotating a lot there's no risk to it and my hand comes on top of my wrist. I right, hold tight. And now if I would try to finish the toe hold here, he would just rotate out of the way. Like a champion. Okay, but so instead, yeah, he wants to start rotating and I close. I need to come very close with the foot towards his hip. Now it's impossible for him to roll any further. Yes, exactly. Okay. And now to finish, I just close my hand a bit more, hold it tight, and now with wrist flexion, I'm opening that part of the ankle. So you have those strong tendons in the middle. It's much more difficult to tap in this way. It's a lot easier to rotate sideways, pop, this kind. As I explained in the other toe hold videos, it's not that kind of rotation around the calf it's not it's, it's not holding like this and trying to rotate it's bending the whole foot closing the foot even closing the toes like so making the foot weak it already feels a lot weaker right mm -hmm. and then bending over those side tendons and ligaments of the foot let's see it again so I'm here, I'm like, ah, foot, ha, whap, and close, yes, whatever, and then, beep, finish it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Tall from open guard, fabulous technique, awesome, great, very, very low risk for yourself, very high possible outcome, pop, you win immediately, great. If not, you make him struggle and you make him much more careful with his own feet during guard, which impedes his ability to play guard a lot. So it's fabulous and a very good idea to go for the toe hole. Hope you like it and hope to see you next time.